Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video, we'll learn how to read files from a local directory in PHP. Now, there are two ways of doing this in PHP. The first one is to use scan dir function, and the second method is to use uh, open dir and read dir functions. So let's go ahead and go over the scanner function first. We'll just need a local, any local directory. I have a directory open here with images and words that I associate with all these images. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this directory. And then I'm gonna create a new variable, local dir, and store it inside the string. And now we can just uh, use scandir. Let's um, store the result inside the files array. And scandir local directory. So the way the scandir works is it just takes in a directory as a string, which we provide here. Since local directory is a path of the directory and its value type is a string and it returns an array with files and directories from that directory. So let's go ahead and print it out with a pre-r function, pre-r files, view this in a browser, and now we have our file names that we have read from this directory here. And they're all sorted alphabetically as well. And at this point, um, that's it. That's how the scan directory works. But as you can see, there's a dot and a double dot in the first two numeric values of the array. So if we want to get rid of those, we got to use two more functions. Okay, so to remove the unwanted values from an array, we can use a function called array diff. And here's how array diff works. So as you can see, it takes in an array for its first parameter and an array for its second parameter. You can also have uh, other arrays to compare it against, and then it will return an array. So it compares array one against one or more other arrays and returns the values in array one that are not present in any of the other arrays. So let's go ahead and use this function files equals array diff. So we provide files which are which is an array of files for our first array and then we'll create another array with two values dot and a double dot so now it will compare the two and it will return an array without the single and a double dot in its values alright let's go ahead and test this create our files view this in the browser and now the dots are gone and uh, we have just the file names in our array but as you may have noticed the array index key now starts with 2 instead of 0 and we can fix that with a function called array values and the way array values function works is it returns all the values from the array and indexes the array numerically so they'll reset the array keys so files equals array values files pre r files view in a browser and now the array keys have been reset and they start with zero instead of two so we now have a clean array without the dots and the array is numerically reset from zero all right, so that is how the scanner function works. We can also write this whole thing in just one line. And here's how we would do that. Let's first go ahead and reset our files array. We can just write files equals array. And now we'll create an empty files array. So we can write files equals array values, values, array diff, scan dir, provide the local dir, and then compare it against the dot, double dot, or single dot and double dot 
array values. So when using multiple functions in one line like this, you can start reading from inside out. So the scandir function, you can see it takes in a string as a directory here, and then returns an array. So instead of this thing here, we'll have an array of our files, which array diff takes in for its first parameter as an array. So that will work out. And then for the second part here, for the array two, we also have an array with uh, the unwanted values. And when array diff is done um, with processing these two, it will also return an array here, as you can see. And array values will take in that array. And um, array values also takes in an array as its parameter. So this whole thing will work out. Let's go ahead and use pre-r files on this. View this in the browser. And now you can see that this whole thing also works just the same. We can also go ahead and make this whole thing into a function. So we can name the function clean scan there, which will take a directory as its only parameter. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this and have it as a return value of the function. And just change this to a dir. So now we can, um, let's go ahead and empty the files array again. And then we can just call our function clean scan dir, provide the directory path. And that's it. Print files, view this in the browser, and you can see that we have a clean array of file names without the dot and the double dot. So that is the quickest way of reading files from a directory in PHP. Now let's look at the second method, which is the open dir and read dir functions. All right, so we just covered scan dir, and now we're gonna cover um, open dir and read dir method. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset the files array first. And the way open dir works is in a similar way as scan dir, it takes in the directory path as a string but then it returns a resource, and the resource will have to use read dir to read from the resource. So the read dir takes in the handle as resource, as its data type, and then it returns the string, which is going to be the file name or a directory name. So let's go ahead and first create the handle, which is going to be a resource with an open dir provide the local directory and now if we use var dump on the handle and view this in a browser you can see that its type is a resource okay so now we'll use the read directory so file equals read there handle and then echo out the file refresh and as you can see, it's uh, showing up a dot, which is the first file name in that directory. And that's, that's the first file name in every directory when we read it like that. And it just means that it's a parent directory. And it will have that double dot as well. And um, there is a way of removing the, those dots that we'll cover in just a little bit. So in order to read all the files using this technique with open dir and read dir, we'll have to create a loop. So first let's say if we get a handle and everything works out with a handle and we get the directory with file names and resources, uh, then we can create a while loop uh, and we'll read, we'll just paste this function inside for reading the directory and we'll keep looping until the end of the file names. So we can say, so we can go ahead and say false, not equal, file read dir handle. And now we'll just keep looping until the end of the file names where it will return false, which is exactly what we want because it will read all the file names. So let's go ahead and test this out by printing out the file. 
with a BR tag so we can see all the files and then go to the browser refresh and now you can see that it's printing out all the file names along with the single and a double dot so the last thing to do is to remove those dots and we'll be done so it's really easy here we can just use an if statement and say file not equal single dot and file not equal to double dot and then instead of printing out the file let's actually go ahead and create an array with files equals files empty square brackets and then file so that would just create the keep creating uh, array numeric keys if we use empty brackets like this and the last thing after the while loop we will also want to use uh, close dir to close the directory stream so all this function does is it closes the handle that we opened with the open dir and as you can see it takes in a resource as its parameter which is a directory handle that is created by open dir and then it returns a void so all it does is creates it closes the directory stream and frees up the resources so every time you use open dir it's a good idea to use close dir as well all right let's go ahead and print out the files to see that everything is working refresh the browser and now we have a clean array with all the file names without the dots which is exactly what we want and the last thing we're just going to create a function out of this as well and i'm going to name it clean read dir which will take in a d directory as its only variable and then we can just go ahead and copy this whole code here inside the function and then the only thing that we'll add is return files at the end here all right so let's go ahead and see if this works i'm not going to create another files array i'm just going to use this function directly inside the pre r function so i'm going to say pre r and then clean read dir and provide the local directory go to the browser refresh and oops undefined local dir in line 51 okay so this should be directory because we are providing uh, dir instead of local dir here because it can be any directory, it can be a remote directory. All right, so refresh, and now we have our file names. All right, so now you have two functions. You have clean read dir, and you have clean scan dir that you can use to read files from a directory, and they both work just the same. So that is the two methods for reading files and folders from a local directory in PHP. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.